Hi, welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. Today we are going to be painting this super fun, whimsical tree. And I know this guy looks like he's on a real tiny canvas because he is. Um, this is just one that I played around with at home. So I figured I would bring it in because it's perfect for fall and it almost looks like the tree's on fire. And who doesn't like a good, vibrant tree for fall? So today we are going to be using lots of fall colors, of course, and we are going to use bright red, fire red, orange, black, yellow, white, burnt umber, and raw sienna. We are also going to be using three different brushes. So we have our Big Daddy brush, of course, because that one's our favorite. We use that one for the background. We also use it for a lot of bigger canvases that we have. Um, then we also have our cute little round brush right here. See how cute that little guy is? And then this little girl right here, she uh, is a little square brush. All right, so let's get started. Drop your brushes in your cup and then go ahead and just dry it off on your paper towel. And we're gonna start with the background first, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is grab some of that yellow. I love the yellow, bright yellow backgrounds and just add it wherever you want. You see how it almost looks like I'm skipping a rock here of just kind of throwing it on there. We want this to be an orangey, happy sky. Voila. Next, I'm going to grab some orange. I also have a little fire red here. Fire red is a little bit more orange. I'm not even sure if you could tell um, the difference through the monitor, but uh, the fire orange is a little bit more orange than the red. So it's kind of a mixture in between the bright red and the orange. This is a fun color to have because it does just add a bunch of um, nice color to your canvas where it pulls the reds and the oranges together. And just keep going. I'm sure you can hear my brush. I'm using a drier brush here because I want to kind of blend it lightly. I don't want to add a whole bunch of paint, but I want to add just enough. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the red and I'm just going to add it right down here to the bottom. I want my ground to be kind of red. I'm going to wet my brush just a tiny little bit just to move some of that paint around. Kind of spread it out. And don't forget about your sides because I forget about my sides sometimes. Let's add a little red through here. Hit your side, hit your side with some more through here. We could pull some browns in here in a minute. And let's get some of this orange and this fire red and add it to the top. We like to paint our sides and our tops and our bottoms so that way when we hang them up at home, we aren't looking at all white around it. Let me rinse that off real good. This guy's going to be super bright compared to the other one, so we might have to add a whole bunch of white on top of this one. All right, so I'm going to take some of this raw sienna here and throw that on just to kind of fill in. I can actually grab some of this burnt umber too and kind of start throwing that on. Maybe I'll leave the background this dark. I don't know yet. We'll see. I'm going to grab some white actually. Let me grab some white and pull it in and see how I like that. Kind of grab the white and blend it all together. This is where you want your brush to be pretty wet. Zoom. What was that little noise? That was like a little race car noise. Zoom. <laughs> and just keep moving your paint all around. Up and down, side to side. Touch your sides and hit this side. And you can wet your brush again and grab some of that raw or that 
burnt umber there and pull some of this brown in here. And grab some white. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to grab a little bit of brown and add it to this red down here. Because I don't want it to be super bright, bold red. I want it to kind of have that fall look to it. So I want to dim this red down a little bit. Let me rinse off this brush real good. And of course, I better check my sides. We all know how great I am at forgetting sides. Da, da, da. Look at that. I sure did. Let's grab some yellow. We'll pull some yellow in here. Oops. We'll pull some white brown in here. And we'll grab some of this red and throw some of this red in here. Because we also have to do the bottom too. Because of course I didn't do the bottom yet either. There we go. Look at that. Well, it's a little pink, but that's okay. Feather it up onto here. Oop. Perfect. How's this look? Great? Awesome. I'm sure yours is turning out fabulous as well. I love, love, love when you share your canvas with me. So please make sure that you send us pictures of what you're painting along with. Because we want to share your artwork also. We want to be able to post it on our web pages and um, show off all of our art friends. I'm just going to grab a little bit more white and just real lightly pull some white into here just to dim this down a little bit. The main focus is the tree. So we want the tree to be able to pop. I'm going to pull a little bit of yellow. And see I'm not blending the yellow in very much. I'm just kind of hitting it softly. I don't want to overpower the reds and the oranges, so with some yellow. So I'm just real lightly hitting it. You might not be able to see it on the TV screen, but when you're doing it in person, you'll be able to see it. Perfect. I love it. Now we got to let it dry. So here we go. Of course, I forgot the fan again. <laughs> if you go back and watch my fan dilemmas through the other shows, you'll understand my pain right now. Maybe one day I'll just get a big one that blows and then my hair will be all like, whoosh. We'll just call it wind art. <laughs> That'll be fun. All right. So, of course, if you have any ideas for what you want us to paint on the show, we are always open for suggestions. So, please, please, please email, follow us on Facebook, shoot us some messages, let us know um, what you are interested in seeing or learning about. I know a lot of people always ask if I use acrylic or oils, and I honestly, I use acrylic for everything. Oils I have done. I used to do a lot of oils in high school because that's what they gave me. <laughs> and uh, I used to do those in high school. And honestly, it just takes forever to dry. So you can get stuff to make your acrylics look like an oil painting. It's called Medium, and we've used it before on the show. Oh, my goodness. This guy is not drying. So now would be a good time to make a nice cup of coffee, maybe some pumpkin latte tea, or go let the dog out, you know, just get what you need to, a little snack or something while your background dries. And let's see. Oh, yeah, it's getting there. It's almost dry. You know when it's not shiny. So when you look at it, you could see that there's some shiny spots on it. That's how you know that your painting is not dry. 
it'll dry to like a matte finish. You'll be able to tell. All right, perfect. So let's set this guy right here. And I'm gonna use this little round brush. So for all of you that have never made a tree before, the trick to making a tree is to almost think of it like cursive writing. All right, so this is what I don't want you to do. I'm gonna show you on the back of this canvas here. This is what I don't want you to do, is the normal tree that they teach you in school. Okay, I don't want you to do that. What I do want you to do is be very flowy and bring each branch all the way down. See how I don't lift my branches? I just keep going right down into my tree trunk. So I almost think of it like cursive writing. Okay. And if you're kind of nervous about starting with the point right here, like you're pushing too hard, just start here and bring it out. And then here and bring it out. So you can thicken this guy up as you go, but do not go like this, okay? All right, let's try this. Ready? Get your little round brush. Let's dip it in that black. And then let's start with our main branch. You could start here with a main branch. So this is gonna be your main one going right into your trunk. And I wanna make that a little bit more pointed. Actually, we're looping these guys around, so we wanna go like this. All right, let's do some more. Let's bring another nice branch right here. And you can see my trunk just keeps getting a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. A little bit thicker as we go. Whoops, 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 whoops. I got a little craze, craze right here. There we go, perfect. Add some more to this guy. We'll leave a couple straight ones just because it's just because we can. How about that? Why not? Like they haven't grown yet to be. Let's add a little guy over here and bring him down, okay? And how about this guy? Oh, we're getting fancy. We won't curl that guy. How about we curl one this way? Ooh. Here we go. This is so pretty. I cannot wait to see yours. I seriously look so forward. I'm gonna bring this guy. I don't like that guy straight. We're gonna curl them up. I really, really look forward to um, painting with you guys on the show, so I appreciate all of your, your hanging out with me, making new artist friends. Here we go. I'm super grateful that I get to hang out with all of you every time you watch the show. All right, let's add another one through here. Oh, look at how pretty this is turning out. Sometimes I do shock myself, honestly. <laughs> Let's cross a couple branches over. Like this guy grew up the wrong way. Whoop. Oh, we went a little thick. That's okay, that's okay. Nobody needs to know, right? Nobody needs to see what we did there. Let's make a little guy right over here. This little guy right here. Perfect. I'm not, I don't know what's going on here, so we're just gonna 
kind of pull this guy down here. And let's pull, let's bring another little guy right there. And let's see. Do, do, do. Ooh, let's bring one right here. Almost make this look like two separate branches there. And ooh, let's add another one right here. Bring it out and around. Perfect. Now at any time you want, you can definitely use a piece of chalk here. Let's bring a little guy this way. You can use chalk to draw all this out first. I encourage you if you're kind of nervous or you um, just feel like you have a little bit more confidence with the chalk, definitely get the chalk out and add it to it. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like it's a little too whimsical now. Let's, um, let's see. Let me add another little guy right here. And you know what I'm going to do? Let me pull some red in. Whoops. Don't look at that big splot on the floor. <laughs> Don't look behind the curtain like the Wizard of Oz. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit of different reds and stuff into the trunk and see how that looks. We're going to highlight this guy. Kind of pull some white in here. Let's add this over here. I'm now I'm using white. And bring some of this over here. Pull some white up here. Whoops, whoops. Don't mess up, Sherry. There we go. Okay, now it's starting to look a little bit better. I need to thin out this one branch right here. This guy, this little snicker right here, snuck in, made my branch really, really thick, and that's okay. We'll clean it up, make it look fancy like it was intentional. Oh, perfect. I'm making it a little, little shaky down the sides on purpose, making it a little wave. I'm going to grab some yellow, and I'm actually going to pull a little bit of yellow into this trunk, make it look like the sun's hitting it. Let's bring some up here. What is that guy? That guy's like poker straight there. All right. Let's bring some of this red in. I like, I like when I color up the tree trunks. I think it makes it look even more fun. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, awesome. So if your tree is looking like this, then super. Then we've got a tree, right? <laughs> I feel like it's off, but it's all right. I need to take a little black and clean up this part right here. Ooh. So again, I just keep going like real thick with some of these. That's all right. Let's clean off this brush. Let me let it dry a second. So I stop thinking about it. Sometimes I do that. I get a little bit nervous. I start overthinking my paintings. And then I have to kind of walk away. So it's okay to walk away from your painting, even if you walk away for a couple days. There's a painting at, the, at my studio that I haven't worked on in a couple months. I started it out and I didn't fall in love with it right away so I just kind of set it to the side and once I get the urge to paint that one again then I'll go ahead and paint it again but don't ever feel like you have to finish a painting to to completion you know even if you come back and you work on it after a couple days or whatever or you just sit there and stare at it I've put um, 
paintings on the counter at home and just looked at them for a few days and then come back to them. So don't ever feel like you know, you're doing something wrong if you walk away from a painting. Or a little crooked, but that's okay. That's what happens when you paint to the side, right? <laughs> you won't be painting to the side. All right, so now we're going to add the fire to the tree. Okay, so let's start with the yellow, and I'm still going to use this pointed round brush, okay? And I'm just going to throw some fire on here. I say fire because that's what it kind of looks like. Once I start adding all this stuff, oh yeah, and on the bottom too, like squiggly lines to make it look like the um, leaves have fallen. I know it's probably kind of hard to see this yellow. Here, let me pull some red in and show you how I'm doing it with the red, just real lightly. Um, <laughs> there we go, perfect. I like the reds. If you have to turn your canvas, turn your canvas. If you're not getting that angle that you want of the leaves, turn your canvas. It's okay, you could even go upside down and hit them like this. however you want. Sometimes it's easier just to kind of play around with it. Let's get some orange in there. Here we go, perfect. Great. Let's add some there, add some, oh, we forgot to put some more down here. And we'll add some here, kind of play around. We can even pull some, let's see, how do we have this? Oh, we have a couple like tree branch looking ones that kind of pull off like this. So if you want, you can add some of these. You see them, how they're like little straight lines, we're adding them to the tree. Let's get some red, let me clean off my brush. We'll get some red. And these are just like the last final finishing touches. So you don't ever have to um, feel like, like you're not sure when the end of the painting is. Sometimes that happens. And if you just feel right, like, okay, I feel like my painting's done. I feel like my painting, you know, I, I feel like I can't do any more to my painting to make it look good. Or if you just feel like, in your brain you're just not working right with your paint then just walk away from it for a little bit and that's okay too let's pull some of this let's add some nice red here pull some red down here you can even add a little bit more red to the tree as we're going along perfect and let's add a little guy here add a couple guys here they could be girls if you want. You know, whatever you prefer. I don't know why I always call them guys. I think it's because that's what we have at home. You know, all my little guys, it's a house full of boys. Me and my daughter in a house full of boys. So we have all those boys around us. So I think that's why we just call everything guys. Like these little guys. Our little guys are love and fall right now because they love Halloween. And we decorated for it. So the little Nico, he loves all those sugar skulls and anything with a skeleton he loves. He's got skeleton jams that I have to wash every other day and crazy spider web jacket. He's He's very in tune with the holidays. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow. Just add some finishing touches, just to brighten up and pull back out some yellow. So I'm just gonna throw some yellow on here. And you can always add a little bit of white with that yellow. See here how it just brightens up that. And look at, it makes it look like a glowy yellow. 
can even pull some down here, down here. Just play around with it, you know. If you are really, really loving putting more yellow in than red or more red than yellow, definitely do that. I'll take this home. Maybe I'll hang this guy up for a nice fall painting. All right, check it out. It's looking pretty fancy. It's a little bit messy, I think, no? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just imagining it. It's hard to, um, see, I feel, oh, it's a little crooked, but it's all right. Let's pull this guy down here. There we go. There we go. Now he's straight. Oh, yeah, I love it. I'm going to make a couple guys falling. And then I'm going to finish this up. Let's make a couple little guys falling here. Then I'm going to take that same little round brush. And like all of us amazing artists, we are going to own our painting. And at the bottom, I just want you to put your little initials here, round it out, and own your painting. Thanks so much for watching, and make sure you share your whimsical tree with us. Thank you.